Yo, the Carolina Panthers opened up their voluntary practice today, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm real hype. I'm real hype about what I saw. Deontay Johnson, you the ex receiver now. Boy, Whew, Bryce Young, standing up there at the podium. <laughs> Welcome back, Carolina Panthers football. You know what time it is. Let's go. All right, man, so the Carolina Panthers start their voluntary practice today, man. And uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, from some of the clips I saw, press conferences, there was three. Dave Canellis, Bryce Young, Deontay Johnson. I'm not going to lie, I like everything that I heard, man. Um, maybe besides one thing, we'll get into that a little bit later. But I love the answers that Bryce Young gave. Finally back, uh, of course, they did a little bit of catch and throw, you know, uh, or throw and catch. Him and Deontay Johnson, you know, him and the other receivers and stuff like that. So I'm not going to lie, I'm excited about what I saw, man. Dave Canellis said that they are really honing in to that, um, you know, what they're calling plays, the communication, you know, how things are being said, and taking the bare basics. What I always tell people is this, if you can get the fundamentals right, everything else will be good. That's what I coach my, my, my flag football team. That's what I do when I'm playing bass. Get the fundamentals right, everything else is gonna work properly, all right? So I'm excited about it. Dave Canellis alluded to a couple things. Um, they even brought up a little bit of this right here. Dick, when you're installing this new offense, yeah. you mentioned watching Will work with the quarterbacks and it was almost like he was an extension of you. Like how yes. important is that alignment yeah. when you're trying to get everybody on the same page to, to kind of build this thing from scratch? Yeah, it's huge, right? Because what we can't have is double coaching, you know, because then it's just, it, uh, we're stealing bandwidth from our players if we're double coaching. We all got to be saying the same thing. And then you're just reinforcing instead of like stealing attention away. So um, that's that's been a really critical part, um, especially for me, especially with Bryce, especially on the offensive side as we're starting something new um, that we work through it. Are we going to be perfect? No. And that's where we say, guys, said this wrong. Got to change this. We're also trying to show them, guys, it's OK to do stuff wrong here. Let's talk about it. Let's fix it. So y'all know it. One band one sound all right everybody's saying the same thing nobody uh speaking to in this case bryce and saying bryce do this bryce do that after the head coach has already said that and listen here's the thing about it uh as much as people wanted to not believe that that was going on that was definitely going on last year all right frank wright uh, uh chris Tabor, all them boys man they was just everybody's trying to get their word in uh deuce everybody but i like this everybody's staying on the same page making sure that we all beat the same drum, read the same sheet of music. That's key. From what I've heard, voluntary practice had a good turnout with the exception of like three players. Uh, one in which I don't really want to bring back, <laughs> which is uh, Eddie Pinheiro. I would rather us draft or bring in another kicker or, you know, uh, someone that's going to make field goals for us, you know, but it is what it is. Eddie didn't make the voluntary, don't know what he's doing. He's probably chilling, you know. He's been uh, chilling since uh, Jacksonville. <laughs> Great turnout, and that's what you want to see. You want to see strong participation from your team. You want to see that the team is energized. You want to see that the team, you know, is ready to get this season started. They want to throw away the old stuff from last year, and let's focus on the new, baby. It's a new year, you know what I mean? So a couple things that I like with Bryce Young, you know, he alluded to some things that he was working on. Uh, this is what Dave Canella said about Bryce Young. Check this out. Conversation with Bryce about self-awareness and all that. Anything that he said or what did he say that that was a clue to you that this is when he understood himself and what his goals were? Yeah, well, we had a formal meeting with him um, at the combine when he was coming out, and I was like, "You fix something." I told him, I said, "From the end of the season to the playoffs, you fix something. I want you to talk about it and tell him what it was." And he talked, and, and then he talked about. Um, narrowing his base and getting to the point where he can stay compact and tall and be able to deliver the throws. And so it was a really cool connection between he and I because I just showed him my notes and I said, and then he just like, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, he just, but it was really me seeing like, is this guy that of aware of what his deficiencies are, what he needs to work on? And that was a classic 
tests for guys if they're not aware of things that their holes you know if they're not aware of things they need to improve on um then i think there's that doesn't mean they can't ever have it but i've just noticed the guys that do have the awareness they get further faster um because they're constantly working on those things as many people as there is that kind of don't like bryce and dislike him and you know wish he would just vanish <laughs> from the face of the earth uh this guy is very very knowledgeable about what he needs to work on and i think that's good that that shows growth uh, a person that doesn't know really what they need to work on is a person that isn't going to grow and Bryce Young knowing that he needs to work on his footwork, work on his stance, work on those things. That's important, man. That's what it should be. And uh, I'm excited. I'm not going to lie. Deontay Johnson, big time. Uh, you know, <laughs> he said he's the ex guy. He's he's the number one. Give him that you know, sense of comfort when he's back there knowing he got a guy that can get up and anywhere on the field. And uh, that's, that's what I'm here to do, make plays. Was yeah, that stress to you after they acquired you? Was that something that Dan Morgan or Canales or all of them stressed? Yeah. Uh, head coach uh, Dave, Dave, Dave told me that as soon as I got here, like that's I'm playing the X. Um, you're gonna be the first read in a progression almost every play. So because you know my my unique skill set, I bring to the table and um, I'm gonna utilize it. Uh, so where does that put Jonathan Mingo? Where does that put Adam Thielen, TMJ? Amir Smith Marset, you know, where does he put even the rookie that we're gonna get? You know, where does it put this, these guys at? I think that that opens up the window uh, for a lot of, you know, a wide receiver by committee type situations uh, where they're not gonna be able to hone in, you know, on what we're doing. You know, last year it was the Adam Thielen show. Adam Thielen was our top wide receiver. And with this year, with Deontay Johnson, we're gonna be bringing in a wide receiver. I really like our chances now of being a decent, decent passing team this year. I do. I have a lot of faith in that right now. Uh, you know, and it, it's going to be something that we're going to, you know, have to see. Dave Canellis and Bryce Young, you know, working on the whole timing thing. And this is what Bryce had to say about the timing and how plays are coming out. So check this out. Now we talked about the timing of your throws. And I know it's only day one, but have you, did you get a chance to go through that today? And could you feel the difference from the timing that he's wanting you to have? Yeah, for sure. That's definitely been a big point of emphasis. Um, and, you know, it's going to take reps, but that, that's, again, already something we've emphasized. Um, the times we've been able to, you know, we've been able to get together on our own. Um, that's still been a, a point of emphasis. So um, it's definitely going to come with reps, but even now you can feel it growing. A lot of stuff feels feels really good, feels natural. You can see uh, marriage and, and see things tying up. So um, it's, it's really exciting. Yeah, so he's already starting to get a feel for, you know, what Dave wants, which is good. Listen, this is going to be a running team that's going to be able to pass this ball that's going to be able to have some timing routes listen it's going to be amazing i'm not going to lie to you and i'm excited man but what, what are you guys thoughts on the uh the three pressers voluntary you know uh uh training camp you know i'm excited i'm not gonna lie man this is what we've been waiting for right here to get this mojo going back we've been in all season speculation the draft is this week so we'll be able to mark down a lot of things that we've been speculating for the past couple of months now I'm excited, man, but know what you feel in the comments, man. What was your thoughts about the press conferences? What's your thoughts about voluntary uh, 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 training camp today, man? I'm excited, man. So, yeah, it's all up from here, man. The draft on Thursday. Woo-wee! I can't wait, man. But, yo, this is your boy Demetrius with the PPP, Panthers Prime Podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. Become a member of the channel as well. Stop playing. Become a member. Become a member. All right? Yo, y'all know what time it is. Let's go. Thank you.